So first meal of the holiday, we have got loaded nachos. We've got some lemon and pepper flavoured fries. And then we've got these lovely little chicken tinga soft tacos with a nice big half wedge of lemon on them. Right, let's have a nosh. Oh man, I completely smashed those tacos. They were lovely, really, really tasty, big flavour. Um, always come here to Giraffe Kitchen when we're going away. I just think it's probably the best in the in the in the airport. Never had a bad meal with Mrs. Tooth is there with her nachos making her way through them. I think you you're nearly done, ain't you? Yeah, she's probably got a few more in her, but they only had a share of platter. They don't do a single platter, um, and I've left most of my chips because I just wanted something a little bit different for flavour. But yeah, highly recommend the chicken tinga tacos. Really, really good. All right, latest potatoes. Right, so we've done our dinner. We've done our twilight black bag drop, black drop, bag drop with EasyJet. Got a seven o'clock flight tomorrow morning, so that makes it nice and easy. We can just walk straight through security. So that meal we had at Giraffe World Kitchen came out to thirty-five pound twenty-five pence. We had sharing nachos nine pound fifty. We had chicken tacos seven seventy-five. Skin on fries four pound fifty. I had a fresh lemonade, like a cloudy one, uh, that was four pounds. And Mrs. Tooth had a glass of prosecco, and that was nine pound fifty. God, I've got an expensive Mrs. Me. Um, so yeah, 35, 25 altogether, and we rounded that up to 40 notes. I thought that was fair enough. And just to give you a comparison, we popped over the road now into the um, the Beehive Weatherspoons here at Gatwick, and we just got one round of drinks. My first beer of the holiday, people. I say beer, it's a large Captain Morgan spiced and coke, and Mrs. Tooth has got another glass of Prosecco, you lucky, lucky thing, you. Um, and that's cost us over 20 quid just for the two drinks. So 35 notes for dinner, I think that's pretty much all right. All right, folks, look, I'm going to stop wittering on now, and I will catch up with you tomorrow, probably when we arrive on the other side. Right, so I'm here outside the main drop-off point at Gatwick North Terminal, um, just to show you exactly where the Premier Inn is. It's literally just there. So it's like not even a, a one minute walk, folks. And I'll explain what I'm doing out and about by myself at 3 a.m. in the morning in a minute. Right, so goods acquired. I went over to get myself a coffee from, of course, a bit windy now, from Greg's over at the South Terminal. So that little shuttle, um, the free shuttle between North and South Terminals at that week, it runs every three to four minutes. Um, and it takes less than two minutes to get there, so it's a really convenient way of getting between both of them. But the reason I'm up at stupid o'clock in the morning is I ain't been asleep because Mrs. Tooth ain't stopped snoring. I oh, know, tell me about it. So I've killed about an hour, it's now 10 to 4. We should be over at the airport by about 5 o'clock, so I'm now going to go back and see if I can rouse the dragon and get her out of bed. So we managed to raise Mrs. Tooth from her pit like Sleeping Beauty. She has come back to life. We have got scrambled eggs on toast. We have got a stack of pancakes with maple syrup and a couple of mugs of tea at the breakfast club. And this is gonna come in at £24.50. Let's see how it is. Pancakes were a bit dry, but they were all right. Mrs. Tooth had a mini moan about hers because they put the egg on and then gave her the butter for the toast on the side. So she had to sort of work around the egg with the butter and couldn't butter it all. And then we had some <laughs> right knobhead next to us, kept dropping his guts because <laughs> we were all on a bench seat. I could feel the seat vibrating and then two minutes later it's like, oh my God, he actually did it. He did it three times and nearly gypped in my mouth. It's bloody horrible. Some people, eh? Some people. Anyway, we've got to go and get Mrs. Tooth um, some headphones and then we're going to go and find our gate. We have made it to Fuerteventura. Four hour flight, it was pretty good. It was billed as four and a half, but we got here quicker. That's probably because we're going south, so gravity's acting on you a bit more. Um, my flight only took 10 minutes though, because I was asleep for most of it after somebody kept me up all night. Didn't you, darling? Anyway, um, we got this bus, it's through hopper.com. Cost 16 pound for both of us to go from the airport up to Coralejo where we're staying. Now, it was about 90 quid in a cab. 
and if you just wanted to use the local buses you could have done that for about eight quid for both of us but you would have had to go into the capital Puerto del Rosario on the first bus and then get a second local bus up to town so this just felt like a, a nice compromise 16 pound takes about an hour um, it's not even a quarter full this bus um, and it's air conditioned it's got a bit of music going on and it's just nice to see some of the towns and villages and the lovely sort of lunar landscape over here so yeah we will get to Coralejo and show you our hotel so here we are just arrived luggage still in tow first proper beer of the holiday and what's Mrs Tooth got? Mrs Tooth's drinking coke <laughs> We are still sitting here with our suitcases. Just waiting for the room to open up. We might have a couple of hours, we might have a couple of minutes, just don't know at the moment. So we are just gonna sit and chill. It's about 25 degrees here in Coralejo. Um, that bus was really good, wasn't it? Got us here uh, in probably about 40 minutes in the end and found the gaff easy enough. Uh, went in and had a quick look. We could get into the hotel. It's, it's an unmanned reception. We'll show you all that later. But yeah, so we got into the hotel, but the room's not ready. So we thought we'd come out, have a couple of beers, chill in the sun. Lovely breeze here as well, which is nice. So we will uh, crack on with this and catch her in a bit. Round two, and Mrs. Tooth has finally got with the program. I got myself another little beer, and she's got herself a Prosecco. Very nice. It's now two o'clock. So what time did we set off this morning? Four, half four, something like that? About quarter to five. Quarter to five. Set off at quarter to five this morning. It's two o'clock, still waiting on the room. Should be ready by three at the latest. So we are gonna have another beer. Right folks, this is our room review of Hotel Vacanzi Urban Boutique in Coralejo Fuerteventura.